scientific investigation is the way in which scientists and researchers use a systematic approach to answer questions about the world around us. The number one component of a scientific investigation is formulate a specific question or problem to a testable form. For example, if you want to know the effects of fertilizer on the growth of plant, your possible problem question is, does fertilizer make a plant grow bigger? The number two component is formulate a hypothesis. Hypothesis is a statement that gives a tentative answer or solution to the question. It is the expected outcome in an experiment. For example, if the fertilizer is applied to plant, then the plant will grow bigger. You can use the if-then statement for your hypothesis. The number three component is select and justify a procedure to be used in answering the specific question. In this step, you will formulate procedures for your actual experiment. For example, procedure number one, write hypothesis in a testable form. Procedure number two, identify the variables that need to control in order to have a fair test. Procedure number three, Identify the dependent and independent variables. Procedure number four, prepare all the materials needed. Procedure number five, make experimental and controlled setup, and so on. The number four component is identify the dependent and independent variables in the investigation. Let us identify the dependent and independent variable from the problem question, which is, Does fertilizer make a plant grow bigger? Here in this question, the two variables are fertilizer and plant growth. The independent variable is fertilizer, while the dependent variable is plant growth. The fertilizer is the independent variable because it is the variable that stands alone and cannot be affected by the other variable. On the other hand, the dependent variable is the growth of plant because it is the variable depends on independent variable. So, the independent variable is fertilizer and the dependent variable is plant growth. The number five component is Carry out the procedure that includes a fair test. This is the step in which you will perform the experiment, including the fair test. Fair test is making sure that in an experiment, one factor or condition, the independent variable affects another, the dependent variable, by keeping all other conditions constant or the same. In fair test, you will identify the control variables. Control variables are factors that are kept the same in the experiment. Let us identify the controlled variables by making experimental design which consists of controlled setup and experimental setup. The controlled variables or the same variables in both setup are species of plant with the same size, health, and age, type of soil, pot, and the amount of water at the same schedule of watering. These are important because they ensure that the fertilizer is the only variable that can affect the plant growth. So, the controlled variables are same species of plant, same type and amount of soil, same size of pot, same amount of water at the same schedule of watering. On the other hand, the independent variable is the fertilizer, which will be applied in experimental setup. In contrast, there will be no fertilizer in controlled setup. So, the experimental setup has independent variable, while the controlled setup has no independent variable. 
through repeated trials to increase accuracy and reliability. You should repeat the actual experiment at least three times. The number six component is make observations that are relevant to a specific question. Let us go back to the question problem. The question is asking about the plant growth as the fertilizer is applied. Thus, the focus of your observation is the plant growth. So after applying the independent variable, which is the fertilizer, you will now observe the plant growth, which is the dependent variable. The plant growth is the dependent variable because dependent variable is what you are observing. The number seven component is make measurements using appropriate devices and units. Choose appropriate device from the measuring devices. Since you will measure the length of the growth of plant, the device that you can use is tape measure or ruler. You will also choose the appropriate unit. In this experiment, the appropriate unit is centimeter. The number 8 component is record and report all observations and data. You can make a chart to record the measurement of plant growth in a certain period of time. The number 9 component is interpret patterns from the data gathered. In interpreting data, you can use graphical representation such as bar graph, horizontal bar graph, pie chart, line graph, and other charts and graphs. From this graphical representation, let us choose the line graph to present the results. Now, write your interpretation of data in line graph below. First, introduce what is the line graph all about. For example, this graph shows the growth of plant A and plant B. Plant A from control setup is represented by blue line, while Plant B from experimental setup is represented by orange line. Second, include all the data in line graph, such as the date and the corresponding growth of plants. For example, in July 1, the growth of plant A is 2 cm and plant B is 3 cm. July 3, plant A is 4 cm and plant B is 6 cm. July 6, plant A is 6 cm and plant B is 9 cm and so on. The number 10 component is infer and explain relationships from the data. Write the relationships form from the data. For example, the growth of plant B is faster than plant A. This is because the fertilizer was applied on plant B, while no fertilizer was applied in plant A. The last component is draw a conclusion from the results obtained, including a statement to support or reject the hypothesis. So here, you will draw conclusion from the results. For example, the plant B with fertilizer grow bigger than the plant A without fertilizer. The data suggests that hypothesis is correct. This can be said that the fertilizer can make the plant grow bigger. Support the results by citing studies and experiments with the same results. For example, the result is similar to the experiment conducted by cite the author that the fertilizer can make the plant grow bigger. Let us sum up. The components of a scientific investigation are Number 1. Formulate problem question Number 2. Formulate Hypothesis
number 3. Select Procedure. Number 4. Identify Variables. Number 5. Carry out the procedures with fair test. Number 6. Make observations. Number 7. Make measurements. Number 8. Record and report all observations. Number 9. Interpret data gathered. Number 10. Infer relationships from the data. Number 11. Draw a conclusion.